Okay, so I've got a little usability thing. Okay, that something happened. that you've come across this week. Yeah, uh, it was. So I'm filling out this form on this website. It doesn't really matter what the website is, but I had to type in my date of birth. Mm-hmm. And there's always a confusion with date of births because you don't know if the form is created for an American audience because America, as far as I know, is the only country in the world that has the dates in the wrong way around. Yes. But, so what I like to do is use the interface that it's provided. Because if you start typing a date in, you don't know what format they're going to need. Because there's also things like, does it have a forward slash does it have a, a dash yeah does it need the month written as a word yeah does it need uh, say if it was the first of the month would it be zero one or would it just be one would it be one st first I, it's a complicated thing anyway but usually on a web form they will have a interface that allows you to pick you know a date yeah. picker yeah okay so that's what this website had so i expand it and the date that it chooses to show me and the month that it chooses to show me in this interface is this month but because this is my date which is of- useless by the way way you should probably if you're asking for date of birth you should work out the average age of your audience and default to the midpoint so that people have got the least distance to go yeah well probably tricky to do why you might not know the age of your audience they don't know my you age least, that's why they're asking you could at least have a guess okay you might not have any real data but you'd at least know i'm aiming for adults in the uk so i'll go for i don't know 35 or at least choose a date that's 20 years ago and then it's kind of closer to that date than it is now anyway yeah i am not born now yeah nobody that's born right now is definitely not that that's the one thing we can say for sure okay, we don't, we <laughs> so might, we definitely might, got it wrong we might not know the age of our visitor or even the average age but we definitely know that it's not now and we know that it's almost certainly not anything from in the past 10 years probably at yeah. least so that's the worst thing to pick as a default okay and so the interface I mean there'll be a picture on screen anyway but it didn't look like it had any sort of drop down and only thing that I could see was a left arrow and a right arrow so you know <laughs> left is back in time a month a month. So, yeah, but because I want to go back 35 years, that would be a lot of presses to go back every month. Yeah, but I'd assume you'd be able to change the year somehow, but I can't... But you can't see that you can. No, there's no ob- there's no link or anything. There's no drop down for the year or... Exactly. So I typed in the date slash month slash year, hoping that's the international date format, although that's dangerous, obviously. Yeah. Then what happened is it formatted it to a really weird date format that I kind of, I know, I do know this date format. It's the one where it's the year first. Four digit year, two digit month, which actually I think is is the most sensible date format. It starts with the most important bit first, yeah, and, and goes and goes more precise as it goes down. So actually, doing the dates that way around makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, me too. If I was sorting out files in a computer folder, mm-hmm. because things will be organised by date. Just if you sort it by name, it will be sorted by date. Yes, won't it? Yeah. But that wasn't what I was expecting, and also it did something really weird. So after that, I realised obviously that's not going to work, and I thought, well, I'll try clicking on the on the year to see if it is a drop down now it didn't look like one but actually it is it was a hidden drop down there okay so you were able to select the year yeah so well I was able to see some years but because I would typed in 26 as the first digit it now thought that 26 was the year that I wanted so it reset to 26 not 1926 26 AD <laughs> who why, so, why is that a possible option? I don't know. So you're telling me that the drop down for the year would allow you to pick... 26 AD. Even if you hadn't have entered in 26, it would be an option to enter in 26 AD. Yeah, obviously. But what I wanted to do then after that is I wanted to record it and show you. So I refreshed the page hoping that it would reset everything. But it didn't. It still kept 26 AD. And it was really difficult to then navigate back to the 20th century. <laughs> How old are the people that are signing up for this, whatever it is? Immortals, maybe. 